So as it drops, it hits the ground and then it emits uh, the object. Um, but it's kind of like half in the ground. So maybe we want it to, uh, if we turn that back on, where is it? So maybe we want the tower to emit so that this bottom of the tower is the position that it uses to emit from, to make it nice and easy. So for that, there are a couple of uh, methods to go to fix that. If we open the emitter, tweak the emitter, we have this red dashed line to the original object. We also have this kind of halo effect, these uh, circles around the three axes. And uh, this this kind of indicates where the center is on those three axes. So that's the center that way, and then that's the center that way. So it's actually the emit point is in that where that dashed line ends in the middle. Now we can go in here and manipulate the where that center is by having it kind of uses the furthest points of all the contents so if you put it over here now the center point is way over here so if I put it below then look at the center point then that's closer to the foot of the tower one thing you have to remember though is even though the the halo is live and will change as you move stuff um, the actual emitter use doesn't use this live thing. So you have to unlink it and then relink it again like that. Yeah, there we go. So now if you look at the foot, then that's fine. Yeah, so now it's emitting with the foot of the tower wherever it lands. Like that. Um, another way of, of fixing that, which uh, can be, have uh, get, can give you a little more control is to use a frame. So what I tend to do is make a frame on the grid like that, then just notch it down a bit and uh, make it delete. Uh, so I'll just use it here. Okay, and then copy the negative, rotate it around and put it in place. There you go. So now you can see uh, through the cube just fine, but you have this kind of outer limit of uh, the cube. And now we'll add uh, a positive thing, tiny little cube right in the center. And we can lower the detail on it however you like. Uh, cool. And now we don't actually need the grid. We can just put this in that um, group and now we can make this as huge as you want like that and we have this dot in the middle it's kind of because we have all this in the way it'll probably be not so easy to use but we can put this right at the bottom and actually sometimes it's easier to just turn on turn that on so you can see what we're doing and now we can perfectly line up the center of that and make sure the chip is inside it. And we'll turn that off. Just actually relink that again like that. And now it's using that to dictate where the center of that object is. But we have to make sure uh, if we turn this off like that. Then when it emits, that will actually be off. And like, if we don't have, if you have preview invisibility on, or we're in the game, we will never see that it's that frame exists. Um, but also, you can go in here and make it destroy itself as soon as it um, is emitted, uh, like that. So now. It kind of exists for a, a split second and then disappears. You might get away with uh, just deleting it because it, it doesn't update this position. Link to the original object. So it's kind of in the middle. Yeah, it's not at the foot, again, the foot any, anymore. Uh, but then if we add this in, um, and make sure that dot is lined up like that. That should do. And we don't need that destroyer. 
and come out and then we relink it then it will use the center made by that halo there then we can go in and I'll just take it out and move it away and then it it will be emitted using that um, position that we saved before but then we don't even need the frame in there anymore if we put this into a group over here and we'll make this not movable but we'll uh, rotate the whole group and we'll have it rotate like that so it's rotating around now if we uh, uh, emit the thing that's within that group if we turn off uh, speed so that it's not movable and we emit the thing within that group then it will emit within that group and keep rotating just with as the rest of the group is rotating um, and we can set that to be like some wherever we want it to be uh, and it actually tends to like mess with the rotation of the group itself because it kind of messes with the center of mass and all this kind of stuff uh, but that's pretty cool uh, interestingly if you set time between emits to zero it's emitting every frame so because of the rotation it's kind of uh, twitching and stuff um, but that's uh, what I use for my Logic App Camera stuff. I'd like to thank RevPlayer, Martinity DK, Hyperdream Surfer, and all of my other supporters for making this tutorial possible. If you'd like me to continue making these tutorials and helping creators across the internet, you can find out how to support me in the link in the description. Thanks for your consideration, and I'll see you in the next one.